Okay, let's have a look how to read and write such a BIOS chip using CH341A external flash programmer. As you can see, this BIOS chip is a socketed BIOS chip, which is soldered straight onto the motherboard, which is a problem, because in this case you cannot use the standard CH341A or any other programmer's clip to just clip on, because it simply doesn't fit. The clip is designed for the small BIOS chips, which are soldered onto the motherboard and would not clip on onto this one. To fix the problem, I have bought myself a bunch of such clips, which are connecting to such a PCB board, which you can later on install into a CH341A. And these ones, they have uh, such uh, tweezers or such clip on things. So let me try to focus the camera. So when you press it, it these two little uh, teeth or uh, pliers are coming out and you can clip on like this. So it is possible to connect all four of them in a line. Let me reconnect this one to this one comes here. Then uh, this one comes here. This one comes here and the last one comes here. It is possible to connect all four of them and they are doing pretty well. But the problem is that like on this particular motherboard, this capacitor, this one does not let me connect to the connectors from the other side. So I can connect to these two from the other side, but I cannot connect to the other two because of this capacitor. In this particular case, I can solve the problem by flipping the motherboard. So let me just flip the motherboard and we can see here, let me find the BIOS chip here. These are connectors for the BIOS chip. And in this particular case, these connectors are big enough so I can use my clips and connect onto these ones using the clips from the other side. So I can just grab them like this. Of course, you have to be careful because uh, the, they are not sticking out good enough to be able to grip very well. So you need to be careful and make sure that each clip has a contact. But once it is all connected, you can connect it from both sides and then you can finally put this thing into CH341A and read or write your BIOS without soldering or desoldering it. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. And if you're interested how to use CH341A, I have a detailed tutorial on my main channel. Bye for now.